How's it going everyone? Deadly DD here. Today we just got uh, Total War 3 Kingdoms. It just released. Um, so I'm going to show you what is available to do at the very start and what's not available. Or at least what I don't see. Uh, so first of all, obviously campaign is uh, the newest thing here. You can play at Sao Tau, Yu Bay, Sun John. I'm sorry, I'm probably going to be butchering this, but... Um, you had your spare with me. Gongsun Zan, Yuan Shao, Yuan Shu. Um, and so these are uh, actually broken out to by, uh, I guess, category. So this is coalition, right? Um, and then you also have governors. You could do Kong Rong, Liu Bao, Ma Tang. And similar to other Total War games, it does show you kind of their starting situation, how difficult it is. Uh, so normal, normal, very hard for you on Shu. You could also be outlaws, uh, Zhang Yan and Zhang Jiang. Oh, I'm so sorry for butchering that, but that's really cool here. And then if you click on them, it shows you your starting map position here. Um, so two outlaws, we get one, two, three governors. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, six coalition, and three yellow turbans, He Yi, Gong Du, and Huang Xiao. These are the hardest thing. Also, you get the yellow turbans, in case you're wondering, you get the yellow turbans if you either want to pre-order the game or um, get the game within one week of its release date. One thing I'm not seeing here is uh, Dong Zhuo. I do not see Dong Zhuo. Um, if anyone knows why, let me know. Because he's definitely listed as a warlord on the website. Um, I'm not lying to you. He is listed as a warlord here with his initial dilemma. Has something to do with Lu Bu. Uh, so I'm not entirely sure if I'm just missing him completely, but I do not see him at all whatsoever. Do you guys see him? Because I definitely don't see him, and, I, and I've been clicking through here, and he is just like not there. Which I thought is odd, because I actually was really looking forward to... Um, starting as him. Okay. So, again, these are what is available in the campaign. Um, in multiplayer, let's see if there are any online games so far. Does not look like there are any online games so far for multiplayer campaign. I've never really done those, so I'm not sure how interested I'd be. <laughs> Um, you could do battles, and for battles you have a custom battle where you create your own, obviously. That's why it's called custom battle. Um, there's historical battle, where uh, you kind of... Basically, they give you uh, a template, right? So these are kind of the historical battles, and you get to see who's, who's playing those battles. And you get Battle of uh, Xing Yang, Jing Dong, Xia Pi, Red Cliffs. Chang Ban, Invasion of uh, Jing Province, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six historical battles. You could also do a rank battle. And it looks like there are four slots here. When selected, you will be allowed to group together with other parties to form a larger team if possible. So I don't know if that means you could do four versus four or if that's simply uh, if that's 4v4 or if that is um, 2 versus 2 or free for all, I'm not entirely sure on this. I haven't done enough research on that, but ranked battle is available. Let's see if people have played yet. Wow, people have already started playing. So we have the top players here. I guess these are the top players. Let's be sorted by wins. Yeah, some guy already has 9 wins. Very interesting. Um. And then for, I think that is essentially it here. Uh, the DLC, DLC technically is the yellow turban. Um, 
Chaos forges agents of Oops, power. Did I click something? Yeah. So the glaring thing here that I I don't know here is where is Dong Shuo? Someone please tell me because I really want to play as him so I can play as Lubu. Um, but that is essentially what is available so far uh, as soon as you download the game. Um, that's going to be it for this. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and a sub below. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.